Hello everybody, welcome to another live coding session after a one week break, uh, unfortunate events uh, prevented me from doing uh, the session last week, but uh, here we are back at our Android TV support uh, PR. So uh, my goal today uh, would be to try to kind of bring the Android TV and basic rudimentary keyboard input uh, support into something that's working in a working state and that could be mergeable even though there might be some rough edges uh, the purpose of it hello dominic uh, would be to make sure that we have at least a basic uh, runtime support for android tv uh, remote control and that would mean that people could start building android tv applications and actually or at least uh, start creating them and then we uh, would finish up the keyboard support properly once uh, once it's done so uh, yeah long time no see actually <laughs> yeah <laughs> we have, uh, we are just chatting with dominic on teams before this so uh, yeah <laughs> so you have no no uh, calls yet i thought you had uh, the microsoft calls <laughs> or something like that Okay, so I will just prep my emulator. I have the Android TV emulator running already so that we can get started soon. And wait for it to build. Although this is concerning, maybe some kind of non issue, but ah, maybe it's just a false positive. So I will. Uh, so I'll actually go to the PR that we have right now to see what's there and what what we changed. So last time we added support for the uh, banner, which is what's, sh is what's showing up on Android TV. Uh, so yeah, enjoy the dinner. <laughs> uh, so this is the the banner that's showing up on the Android TV. We actually have it now working. That's that's pretty nice. Uh, it's not. Yeah, like too nice because just plain logo, but it is showing up at least as compared to before where the application was installed among the system applications and it wasn't showing at all. So this is definitely progress and you can now even install it, uh, uninstall it and uh, add it to, fa to favorite and so on. So that's pretty cool. Uh, where is the controller? Ah, here we go. So there's, there's a controller. Uh, so what it's what is now working is basic navigation in the application, but I'm waiting for the build to finish up, and it didn't finish up because of the error, probably the upt error. Yes. Uh, so this is kind of on a on and off error, which which is disappearing when you rebuild usually. So I will rebuild that project. Hello, MC Ed. So let's wait for the rebuild, but I uh, will go back to the PR. So, so far what we have is uh, the banner support and the, uh, the required intent filter for Android TV. So action main, category launcher and category in bank launcher. These are uh, required for the Android TV support. And yeah, this is just additional comma, nothing interesting there. Uh, so next up, use this feature, which is also required to be present if you are supporting Android TV. Uh, then the icon and banner, nothing too interesting. And yeah, CS approach change. And now the actual code changes within Uno UI. So we have first and foremost, the application activity, which is handling the key events themselves. And that's on the top level. And this dispatch key event uh, method should be handled or called anytime there is any input happening. So this is the top level handling of keys. And that's different from what we had before because we removed 
the key press handling from a framework element where it was registering on the specific elements that have key down or key up implemented. It was uh, handling those using on key press and, and key press event. So that was specifically, I think, uh, like things like button and text box and so on, which have uh, key down or key up. Those were actually using the key press event to register for events and then handle them somehow, which was working, but it didn't support uh, the proper top-down uh, handling of key events and it wasn't going through the same uh, like bubbling of events like pointers and other other things uh, like routed events usually should go. So this the removal of the specific handling for key down should not technically be a problem. It should be replaceable by our top level uh, application activity handling because that then bubbles or actually uh, is bubbled by the routed events from the focused element up uh, to the uh, root visual of the application. So that that should work. The question now is uh, what about text boxes? Because text box had this uh, specific code here, here for something. I'm not exactly sure what it was. So we'll have to verify that we didn't break this behavior uh, because this probably was some kind of tr uh, specific trigger on some specific editor action. So I will probably have to trigger the key down or key up event here manually. But that shouldn't be a huge problem. Uh, so this removal of button based code was just that code which wasn't even executed anymore. So that's okay. Uh, focus selection, here we had uh, done some changes for handling not only up, down, left and right arrow keys, but also gamepad, d-pad, up, down, left and right, which are the same keys that are mapped to the Android remote control on uh, Android TV. So those are now supported. And we need to make sure that this is handled properly. So uh, maybe we have to check if we are on a Android TV somehow or uh, just need to identify this if check. So this is something that needs to be done today. Uh, then we have Unofocus input handler, uh, which is just checking again, uh, directional focus keys. So up, deep it up and so on. This is fine. This is a correct change. Core window has the key down and key up event implemented as long as we actually raise those. So we need to check if we raise those and we should be raising those in here. Raise key down, raise key up. And that should be happening in application activity as long as I'm not mistaken. So here's raise key event on the UI element, which is then bubbling up. But here we have, uh, no, it's not there. So maybe somewhere else. So here, uh, I don't really see that core window raising. So we'll probably have to implement it as well because that seems to be missing. All right, so then we have virtual key helper, which is just translating the key codes from Android to uh, virtual key on C sharp side, or I mean UWP side, uh, which is mostly correct, but there are some missing mappings. So we'll have to implement, especially those which are on the remote control. So these buttons and these buttons, those need to be all supported. Uh, plus we need to check uh, if we, we actually edit this virtual key helper, but there was another, okay, this iOS change doesn't belong here at all. So, oh, I just, it's just a reminder that this mapping is not correct. So 
that's okay. We just made a to do for iOS. And let's actually port this as an error. Okay, so I will report it in the meantime and see if this builds. Yes, so I will run it. Uh, so on issues. Ah. What was the name of the mapping? Here we go. This one. And let's find the code. I will do it on master. So it's kind of a virtual key helper. So on iOS and macOS, maybe, maybe it's on both. So iOS and the mapping is keyboard equals 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 sign. So this line is wrong. It should be mapping to something else. I'm not sure exactly what. There is some kind of different virtual key mapping, but it should be definitely fixed. So I'm just reporting this as an issue. And on macOS we have, what is this? Oh, it's mapping. Uh, Huh, this is also looking kind of weird. So maybe also on macOS. Mm -hmm. So these two, right, report it. So that should be fine and we can undo this change so that we don't uh, have it as part of the PR because it doesn't really belong there. So Android, no iOS, here we go. This one or is it file to state before commit? Yes. So next up, uh, so this is done uh, and the virtual key helper on Android that's what I'm interested in now uh, in a, because there is there was already before some kind of translation between the keys and the key codes and the virtual key so here it was key code to virtual key let's search for that and maybe that implementation is uh, can be moved to the new one or replace. What happened here? So it succeeded, but it didn't launch the emulator. So actually I reported this issue last time to Microsoft, but and they needed further information, but it's kind of hard to reproduce because it sometimes works and sometimes doesn't. So you cannot really reproduce it reliably, but Maybe I can now export uh, the locks. Where, is, where are the locks here? Uh, it was somewhere here, right? Yeah, here we go. I'll zip the locks. Ooh. Uh, seems I maybe froze Visual Studio by opening a dialog on top of a build. No, it's fine. Okay. That's a relief. So I will 
zip logs and I will then report it later. So the first build just built successfully and didn't deploy and the second one works. So it's definitely something that's intermittent. So what do we have here? We have uh, the focus working. We can move between focused elements and maybe let's do something like this. If we press this, it should be like an enter, enter key, but it doesn't seem to work. So we will we'll see what it maps to. So application activity, Android. We need to make sure that all the key codes, which are relevant here, are mapping to something meaningful. So deep at cen center. So there is no center button on a Xbox controller, which makes it a little bit awkward. Um, show key. Let's see the enum, what it would be appropriate to map it to. So uh, the first thing that comes to mind is the enter key, because that's like the confirmation key. And yeah, alternatively, it could be the gamepad A button, but I think that Entry key makes sense here. Let's map it to entry key because that seems reasonable. So deep it up, deep it right, and key code deep at center will map to virtual key enter. Then there is this button, which is some kind of bookmark. Bookmark. Hmm. This will definitely not have any useful mapping on Windows. Nope. There is nothing like bookmark there. It's favorites. Favorites key. Yes, that's it. That's it. Favorites, that makes sense. So bookmark can map to virtual key. Favorites. Then we have... Note. And then we have... A user. Kind of user. Home. Home button. Virtual key. Home. Or go home, maybe. Oh, that's that's the home button on the keyboard, probably. Let's let's do home. Let's see if the documentation tells us something. Home. Go home key or button and. Oh, there is no home here. Ah, here we go. Home key or button. Okay. Doesn't really help. Let's create a UWP application and test it there to see what those buttons do. So this one, yeah, it's fine. Oh, we have already a mapping for home key. Okay, so it's mapping to home, so I guess it should be fine. Uh, let's launch the application again and uh, and map the other ones. So this is back button, which is clearly back. Maybe it's already already mapped here, so maybe we can keep it like that. Then it has home there is this whatever it is settings button <laughs> I don't think there is a settings K 
key, no. Doesn't seem so. Hmm. So what could we map it to? Well. Doesn't really seem anything acceptable here. Hmm. Not really. Well. If nothing fits, we can just uh, Map it to something which is not used by anything else, and uh, then add it to documentation as a specific Uno event, uh, a specific event. Uh, I mean, specific virtual key that's only available in Uno. So let's go. It's very annoying that the emulator is crashing whenever we uh, do some handling of the virtue of the keys. It's super annoying. I'm not sure why it's why it's why it's like that. I will check the output when it crashes next time. Because it's just a breakpoint, so there is nothing too special about it. So. Our bookmark should now map to bookmark. So virtual key is favorites. Yeah, a little bit here. Then we have uh, this guy, which is okay. So it ah okay. So it's uh, some kind of special special button which doesn't even go to the application at all. So that's or the application crashed. That it explains it. So, why did we crash? There doesn't seem to be any any explanation really. Let's see, diagnostics. Okay, that's more like it. ADB client. So this is it. Let's clean it and try it again. Because the, uh, when I reported this issue last time, the team said that this happens usually when you have bad connection with the device. But in this case, it's not a device. It's a emulator, so it shouldn't matter. So to press this one. Okay, so this is definitely a specific uh button that is not handled by the application this one mm, is not handled by the application it's just settings button in general then we have home button and again it didn't go here so probably something that's also not handleable by the app oh, okay that's interesting right so this is a problem. So we have to figure out why this happens. In my startup sequence to initialize base activity events. So on create event was not invoked. Interesting. Hmm, that's really interesting. It is invoked here. Uh, let's try this button. So again, this is handled by the OS itself. And this one goes to back button. So this is done already. 
And now we can try the uh, yeah, now it crashed again. So let's see. Remote control failed to connect to server. And again, we have this dump inside of the Xamarin Diagnostics. So I will definitely have to report this. So let's see. Uh, just the feedback. I'm out of my feedback actually. And this one, yes. Dispatch key event. Let's see, maybe they figure out something, but again, I can actually submit the locks again. Okay. Actual attachments. We'll see if they find something regarding this. Uh, so uh, let's go back here uh, so for what we were doing. So, uh, so we have the handling of those buttons which are handleable by the application, which are not uh, immediately captured by the system. So this is nice. Uh, we didn't check the center button, but it should work. So I will. Go here, maybe two buttons, page, and then using these buttons, I should get to maybe here. Just focus it explicitly. Okay, and if I press it, you can see it's, it's getting pressed when I press the center button, which is like enter button. So this is good. Yeah, this is working. Nice. Uh, although this is not working because, because, because this is enter button, not a space button. Ah, right. So let's see checkbox CS. Uh, it's just a toggle button. So key, there should be some key, key event handling. Okay. 
on click on checked on unchecked no not really button base huh button base key processing space or key uh -huh. Ah, oh, there is some handling here. Key down. On click. <clears throat> right, right, right. So this is click mode is press. We okay. is key accept return. Huh. How does this work? So if it's space and accept the return is true. Keep your navigation accepts the return. This goes from true if enter key is equivalent to space. And where is it set? Here. And this is set from Right, true, false, false, true, true. So yes, so checkbox and radio button does not have space equivalent to enter key. So those have specific handling for enter. So in this case, we would probably prefer a different mapping for the ent uh, for the center button of the D-pad. So instead of enter key, we might want to handle it using gamepad A because it matches more the gamepad like nature of the remote control and it also will work more reliably. Right. All right, so let's do it. Let's map, let's change the mapping here to gamepad A as a accept. And now let's run it again. I have one suspicion that it, what it could relate to the, this, this crash, that it could relate to the hot reload handling. And I s where is it here? Uno remote control here. Maybe if I re remove it, maybe it will not crash. We can definitely see because when when it crashes, we we also see uh, in the debug output we see the remote control client failed to connect to the server. So it could theoretically be caused by this crash instead of some kind of emulator related issue. So let's try it at least. So anyways, uh, we have mapped the buttons, which is uh, what we needed. Then we have we have to verify the text box implementation. So let's see here. This one I can mark as, as finished. Oh, actually not really. I have to also find the original implementation, which is here to virtual key where is it where is it here to virtual key uh -huh. we have this one so what were we mapping before and are not mapping anymore <laughs> so we see virtual key helper Key code unknown. Unknown. Uh, default is none, so it's fine. Back is back. Tab is tab. Then we have clear. Clear. Enter is enter. Menu. Ah, okay, so menu is missing. So this one. 
key code. Menu is mapped to virtual key menu. Then we have media pause. Okay, that's not there. So media pause. Uh, pause and it seems that also play pause is mapped to pause so pause is probably like play and pause yeah play uh, it's, it's probably the same thing so the pause button is both uh, the toggle play pause Yes, application starting up. Or is it? Ah, right. I have to break point here. Right, so buttons buttons focus on this one move it press okay so now it works well so the a button is better mapping definitely yeah yeah this works good so that that's handled then now we go to Yeah, this is good. This works well. Hmm, okay. So, uh, next up. The remaining mappings. Oh, it seems it didn't crash yet. Which is interesting. Uh, let's... Uh, finish the mappings and then we can try doing a breakpoint. Maybe it will now work. Yeah. Key code. Oh, caps lock, is it there? No. Caps lock. We have Kana. Mm -hmm. Escape key. That's there. Space key is there. Page up. Page down. Home key. Deep at left, blah, 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 okay, that's there. Select insert. Yes, there. Delete. So that's delete, but we don't have a, a backspace. That's probably this, but we don't have the proper mapping there. So we have to adjust for that. So for now, let's map it to delete but it's something that needs to be dealt with later. Then we have help, which is not there. So let's put it here. Help. Help. Uh, maybe not here, but among these. Then we have num zero and so on. Uh, those are there. A, B, C, D, blah, blah, blah. These are fine. 
Seems like all are mapped correctly. Then we have app switch. That's not there. What is it? Ah. Okay, so app switch is mapped to virtual key application. Application? Huh. I'm not very sure if this is correct one. Application. Application key or button. Unsure. Unclear. Maybe it's mapped correctly, but verify mapping. Uh, then we have sleep. Sleep is not mapped. Let's put it here. Uh, because we're not really shooting for perfect implementation yet, it's fine that we don't have the mappings all correct because we can get back to it later and uh, fix it up when needed. But people will be able to start working with the preview versions of UNO and start using that, uh, that uh, support for focus, focus navigation and so on at least on an Android TV before we are done with these cleanups and improvements. So that's definitely worth doing still. So then we have numlock. Where do I put it? After nums. Lock. Numlock. Map super key. Number key lock. Scroll lock. What is this? Eh. Again, it always adds this using. I'm not sure why, but it's very annoying. Scroll lock. Okay, let's put this next to home pause somewhere there. So here, unlock key code. Scroll lock. And again, it added that using, right? Yes. <laughs> I don't know why. Seems like a IntelliSense issue. And again, this doesn't seem like the right one. Shift left, shift left, right shift, control left, ah, control, so let's put it here next to shift, so key code, ah, okay, so it's just this, even though there is already imported version, oh, that's fine, I can write it myself. Right control. Then we have media stop. Key code. Media stop. We have. There must be some kind of forward. Next. Hmm. There's some, there must be some. Uh, mapping for those media buttons. Let's try that actually here. I can do core window. Get for current thread. And I can map the key down event. 
And then we can see what's being triggered. So debug, right line. And let's map them properly. So uh, I will key pressed. Do like this. And I will put there arcs, arcs virtual key, which should show me the proper mapping for the keys that I will be pressing. So just quickly, let's do the ones which we weren't sure about. So first, okay, space button works. So a scroll lock is actually scroll. So that mapping is not wrong. Scroll lock. Then we have application. I don't have an app switch button or anything like that, so I will ignore that. I will try the play pause. So pause button should be pause. Yes, this is fine, but play is mapped to 179. So there is no specific name for it, but it's 179. Oh, let's do it like this. Hmm. Key code windows. Windows key codes. Ah, okay. Media play pause is 179. Nice, that's, that's useful. So media stop is mapped to this. And this should be also play pause. There is previous track. Yeah previous or skip backward previous previous track is 177 okay i will put this here uh, next track is this one Let's reorder this. So this is 176. Right. Better. Volume up. Ah, already broken my. Right. <laughs> Stop adding this. Volume up. Seventy-five down one is seventy-four, seventy-three down volume mute. Uh, what do you have here? Browser. Are there some browser? No. Brightness. No brightness. Okay, the F keys, there's F24 even. And I don't think there are, there are more than F12 in the defined versions. So we can do the other ones. So F13. Oh, okay, so there's no F13 on Android, it seems. So it's fine. We don't have to map those. Then we have numlock, that's there. Left menu, right menu. Right, and what do we have also here? App switch, back. Uh, this is okay. And backspace, backspace. Backspace is eight. Or seven. 
Huh. So back is eight. And it's showing up as seven here? That seems to be wrong. Oh. Cancel is three, middle button. There seems to be something missing. Middle button is four, X button one, X button two. What is seven? Huh. So backspace is kind of seven, but it's not mapped to anything. And back is then. Wow, that's weird. That's so weird. Tab is nine. So we have all of these shifted by one after this. Ouch. That is very unpleasant. Oh, and this is even more shift. Okay. There is, seems to be kind of a problem that happened while we were mapping these fields. So what do we do now? Uh, virtual key. So this, this is the whole thing is wrong because we are mapping to incorrect numeric values, which we cannot allow ourselves to do. So what I will do is that I will take these changes that we have done. Push those or uh, commit those dash this. And next, what I will do, I will run the sync generator that will sync uh, the UWP API against Uno platform and make sure that we have this properly mapped. So I will remove the current implementation, which is just the enum, close this down. And I will go here, remove the target framework override. This is something that's done when you are trying to add new APIs that are coming from Windows. When there is a new API SDK from Microsoft, we run the synth generator that will then sync those uh, classes and events and everything that was added and will generate generated, code, generated version of that uh, API surface for us automatically. So we know that we are always uh, up to speed with what Microsoft is doing and all the APIs that are in, in Windows are also in Uno platform in the same exact uh, shape. So this sync, sync generator application is part of Uno itself and we can run it here. So if I go run sync, API sync tool, so I will go here, I will have to run the developer command prompt and go there then i will run uh run api sync tool ah no so this is just like this so it's windows uh, we have to close visual studio but this is a different one you have to run it from build folder which is right and the override is gone so I can can run it. This will generate a bunch of changes but we are interested specifically uh, in the virtual key file. Let's see if ChatGPT can also provide us the right mappings. I 
right. Let me log in. Let's see. Uh, what do I want to ask? Uh, yeah. Key. Code does backspace. Two on. Yes, eight. That matches. And now let's see what uh, the seven is. Mm -hmm. Bell character. Right, bell character. So uh, we are mapping to bell, which is... Oh, uh, I'm seen as sending a link to a list of official key codes. Okay, that's that's even better. So this is something we can use uh, as a reliable source. Uh, actually, let's see then. Equal sign, equality. Uh, that was the one that I wasn't sure about mapping, but yeah, media select, mail key is nice. Next track, previous track. Nice. Okay, we can use that. We can use that, definitely. Cool. It's play even, specifically play key. Uh huh. Mm hmm. All right, thank you for that link. That's that's very nice. I will use that uh, just once this. Okay, it's already generated now, and let's see. All right, you can see that uh, now the generated version, as we fixed, fixed it by running the generator against the actual UWP sources. It now includes also the values for the enums, which was not part of the syn syn generator before so previously when we mapped no, originally when we mapped that enum uh, the values weren't there it was just a list of uh, the names inside of the enum so the values the numerical values were incorrect so now you can see the back button is uh, backspace is correctly mapped to eight which is what we want uh, not the the thing that was there before so seven so this should be much more reliable and I will definitely take this yeah, and uh, I will just get rid of this, these other ones that are not useful. So I will take this one, copy it, oh, come on, stop selecting, copy it here. Uh, or actually, I will copy it in here instead of the original virtual key version. Then I will get rid of these, make it file scoped, clean up this mess. What is the keyboard shortcut format document? Uh, I always forget the keyboard shortcut. How do I format document in in just the code? Uh, no. Uh, command palette. That is search. Yeah, right. Format Shift Alt F. Right. And I do a formatter for C sharp. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Of 
formatting. Hmm. This didn't work. Maybe I have to re reopen it back. Okay, well, let's do it later. Uh, now let's focus on what's important, and that's. Uh, I'll just close this, move it back, and now I will have to get rid of all these. Uh, all these lines. Nothing. Nothing. Then I will just format it in Justrio, but this is okay. And now that we have this in place, I can run the sync generator again, and it should regenerate that uh, that original file that contained if false for everything, so that it's like not implemented in the generated code. Right. So I will let this run. It's going to take a while again. Uh, so in the meantime, I have good news because the PR for WebView 2 is almost ready to be merged. That's something I was working on last week very extensively. And even though there it's, it's still failing CI, there are some glitches, some uh, platform specific things that need to be adjusted, but Android, iOS uh, and macOS are all running and Mac Catalyst are all running uh, WebView 2 as well as WebView. And it's actually implemented quite uh, nicely because you have the WebView and the WebView 2 and both are using the same logic inside. So both are using core WebView, which is uh, part of the WebView 2 control. And then uh, all the operations go into core WebView. This there is handled in the platform specific way by native WebViews and the results are coming back into WebView 1 or WebView 2 and raising the right events and so on. So it's it's quite nice actually. I was, I was surprised that it's possible to implement it in such a uh, web view agnostic manner and as a result it's actually working quite nicely and it's even supporting uh, two-way communication bi-directional con communication between the application and the web uh, the website so you can raise javascript events in uh, inside of the web page and you can also raise uh, actually execute uh, javascript code on the web page and you can then send messages from the web page uh, that will then raise an event inside WebView 2. So there is some uh, web message received event which is then raised and you get notified that something uh, on the website then triggered that and you get JSON data that you can then parse and do something with them. So that's pretty useful. And the ultimate goal for this is to support the uh monaco editor on all the targets that we have so uh, support monaco editor on uh on android and ios as well as WebAssembly. so all of those would support it so that's that's the ultimate uh, ultimate goal of this project anyways so we have this we have uh, this now and the virtual Key is now gone because we undone the changes that were made by the generator. So now the virtual key file is actually just forced out completely, which means I should be able to reopen the solution, even though I have to I'll get rid of these for now because those are not relevant to my PR, yeah, all of those. And now our mappings should be correct because we should be mapping to the right numerical values and we should be able to adjust the remaining code. 
and also uh, mention that reliable source from Microsoft documentation that's very important so mono android open it here all right so let's go back to our pr In terms of the mapping, I think we covered all of those which were in the original mapping but were not present in the new one. So there is also search, just the last one. Stop. Media stop. And there is search. And we don't have search, so. We need to map search here. Key code search virtual key search ah. and again that namespace jumping there. I will use this as the source. Thank you again, MC Nets, for the link. And just to verify the back should be mapped to eight, not seven, which is good. All right. And just to check the backspace is okay. All right. The backspace is mapped to back on windows. So that's all right. And I have also on the mouse, I have like back and uh, go back button. Hmm. Like go back and go forward button for the browser, but it doesn't seem to do anything. Maybe I have it. I don't have it mapped in Logitech options. This mess forward and back. Huh. Well, it def definitely doesn't seem to be mapped to anything on in UWP. So, I guess it's just not present there. Uh, there was also core window preview key down. No, uh, this preview key down, just to check if it doesn't get handled here. Okay, let's put there some uh, button so it can get focused. Yes, uh, very useful, definitely very useful. Uh, these mappings uh, confirm what we saw in that uh, in that other website, and is also from. Microsoft itself, so it's uh, more reliable as a source, so definitely very helpful. Thank you for that link. So we have this. Key press tap tap. Uh, okay, so it's everything twice, but yeah, the mouse buttons don't register as buttons in here. Maybe uh, they are registered as pointer buttons let's see pointer pressed yeah it's actually pointer button so it's mapping directly to pointer and 
How do you get the key out of there, though? <laughs> get... Buttons? Key modifiers? No. Get current point. Key... Hmm. That's interesting. I'm not sure how you get the the keys from there. That's a good good question. Maybe uh, ChatGPT can answer us. Hmm. Properties. Right button, middle button, yes, but aha, maybe it's uh, like other properties there. Let's see. It's nothing uh, specifically related to what we're doing right now, but I'm curious how it works. So, properties, there is <clears throat> X button 2 pressed. So, it's mapping to X button 2. Yeah, so it doesn't really tell you anything about what that button is, but so those are, yeah, so back button is button 1 and forward is button 2. So just interesting to know that. Anyway, so we have uh, arrow. So these are just f uh, false positives, left, where is the mapping of left, right, up and down. Yes, this, these ones, key code, left, yeah, all right. Uh, and and key. That's something we don't have. Meta left. Uh, and key. Yes, so move end is end. In that case, though, move home is home, not home. Home is a different thing. Home is home is actual home button, so it's the go home virtual key. So that's the Android TV one. All right. So I think we have everything. And now let's fi fix the... All right, you from that list. Ah, see you later, MCNets. Thank you for joining. Uh, there is also a quality sign and I want to see what that is mapped to. Equality, no. So let's see the Windows application. I will Run it again and see what happens if I press the equality button on the keyboard. It's mapped to 187, which is not even in the list here. Hmm. Let's see here in the, what does key code map to. Okay. Right, 
right, right, right. It makes sense, but uh, I would like to know what's the source of this information. <laughs> okay, let's see. Key code equality sign. Hmm. All right. These are the ones that we wanted. So 187 is equals sign. Right. So key code equals a numpad equals key code numpad equals. How do you uh, map two things uh, in expressions? Ah, uh, okay, so it's or like this. Uh, equals and that's mapped by virtual key 187 uh, period so this uh, these numbers uh, these values I'm getting from here so equals and actually if I will edit we can fix that mapping on iOS as well because 187 is the right one. So equals sign. Equals sign. Yeah. All right. That's nice. We fixed something that's uh, unrelated to our PR, but still useful. Backspace key is now mapped properly. Uh, so this is delete. So this is mapped to back. So this is backspace. And that means that the back button is mapped to what? I don't have a Back button on the keyboard, but let's see. Uh, actually, we can map the back to key back del back button. Go back. Uh, map it to go back, which is kind of navigation back mapping, which makes sense in this case, because we already mapped home to go home. So we have go back for back and key code forward. We can map to go forward. So we have these uh, mappings to the browser navigation. And there's also play key code. Yeah, play which should key and the mapping there is play. F A. So that's a uh, hexadecimal four. And if two fifty, two fifty, right? Uh, what else? What else?
semicolon. Game up semicolon. Apparently we have that mapping here. Yeah, we don't have it. So key code semicolon is mapped to yeah. 186 colon right that's the same button on the keyboard plus is there and now the period Period is mapped to 190. Okay. And comma is 188. And now let's see what is said here. So 110 and 10 is all right. We need calculator to convert stuff. Scientific programmer, we have 110, 6e is decimal key, pe is a period, One hundred ninety. Uh, da -da, okay. Nine period decimal. Well, the mapping for decimal might be different here. Let's open the test app here and let's see what happens if I press several of the keys. So, yeah, so this period, right, 90. Comma is 188, and when I press the period on numeric keyboard, it's decimal. So this is decimal, and period and comma is mapped to something else. So key code. Okay, I will need to run it to see what these things are. I will need to test it on the real device. So let's cancel this. I will run it on uh, my phone. And see what it maps to in Android. It seems we are already uh, running out of time, so I will, this will be probably the last thing to do today. But uh, we have moved quite quite well here. Uh, we fixed up this virtual key helper mapping for iOS. We fixed it for Android and mapped the missing map uh, added the miss missing mappings from the old mapper i will check in the meantime while it's building if we have called this from anywhere and it seems it is called from application activity so at least for key down it is not for key up so we need to put it here so there should be 
else if a action is equal to up on events is key up arcs. So this is it. So now these are being called. That solves this part. And this is still the to-do that's left for next time, plus uh, then uh, the verification of the text box input. Uh, but those are the, the last really important things that I need to ca take care of uh, before that PR is kind of ready to be reviewed, merged and potentially used uh, by first you know, beta implementations of Android TV support in, in Uno. So that's, uh, that's good and get, that's going to be uh, good news for all those people who were, were waiting for this, uh, for support of Uno platform applications on Android TVs. And actually it's going to be a very nice showcase when we have some Android TV application running on a TV because Uno platform runs anywhere. So we need to run it on TVs as well. Okay. It's starting up, hopefully. Right, starting the bugging. Okay. App is starting up. And I will capture this location to see what what it maps to. So if I pressed this point, the symbol point is period. The symbol comma, this comma is comma and this is numpad dot ah okay so numpad dot is what we need to map to so that leaves us to do key code comma maps to virtual key 188 if i'm not mistaken it was 88 so this, this, 88, 90, and then this, it's the decimal and it's the decimal, decimal. And if I switch to check keyboard, it's still decimal. So it's always mapped to decimal, this uh, numpad comma or period. So that means that we have to map key code numpad dot or key code numpad comma to virtual key decimal. Right. Nice. So that's very nice. We have uh, proper mapping for most of the keys. Oh, what is this? Uh, yeah, comma. For most of the keys. So uh, what remains next time is just to take care of those two to do's and we can prep the PR to be merged. So that's nice. I will commit this. So let's uh, break it down a little bit. So this is fix proof virtual key. Thanks. Uh, this virtual key. Let's get a bit of those empty lines. Ah, it's not gonna happen automatically, right? No. Get rid of those. Uh, 
Oh, so many. Okay. Uh, how do I, uh, regular expression, start, empty lines, map empty lines, uh, regular, empty line, let's see if this works, all right. <laughs> better so so we got rid of those uh, so this change is kind of a breaking change actually so fix uh, adjust incorrect virtual key values Enum values, the numeric but it's, it's a breaking change, but it's not really breaking change because it has to be the same as on Windows. So I think that is okay that we don't have it there. We uh, erase the core window key up. We can both bundle these two. And that's it. So push it and we're done for this session. So uh, hopefully next week we will finish up this PR and get it ready to be reviewed and merged. So until next time, uh, keep coding and I will see you in the next live coding session. Have a good one.